Hey, self-publishers, authors, writers, welcome, welcome. So I recently read this book. I got a review copy by Estelle van der Velde. It's called SEO for Authors, the book. It's pretty good, so make sure you check out the book. And if you haven't watched the first part of this collaboration video with Emma Bennett, feel free to go check out that video anytime. And let's dive right in. So this is the look inside of the ebook. The first thing to say is she covers quite, um, quite a lot of good detail. Um, about SEO and keyword basics. So for example, we are writing for humans, not for the algorithm. So if you're going to write a blog post or a website, make sure it's written for humans because that's basically your buyer. So the algorithm's not going to buy anything from you. Okay, <laughs> let's get that straight. It's, all, it's, it's always going to be humans buying something. So write for humans and not algorithms. Um, the other thing that I took from this book was that you need to know who you are competing with. That's actually quite important because when you know who you're competing with, you can do some competition analysis and you can use keywords and SEO to improve the content that you make for your website or your blog. So those are a couple of points. Now, she also goes into quite a lot of detail about Google and its search engine because let's face it, Google is actually one of the biggest search engines in the world. Just to prove it to you, I checked out, I know I'm using Google, so there's a bit of irony there, but I checked out which search engine is the largest. Naturally, Google comes up top, but let's just check a few statistics. So Statista has Google as the largest, okay, by, by a huge margin. I mean, we're, we're not even close to the second largest. So Google, according to Statista, is right at the top. This one is SEMrush blog, they're quite popular with the SEO crowd. And the mainstream search engines, number one, right up there is Google. Again, they've got um, quite a high percentage of uh, market share that Google has. And you can check others out as well if you want. This one's by HubSpot blog. Again, Google is 85%, so over 80%. There's another one called Search Engine Journal, which is quite popular. Google is ranked right at the top with over 80% again. So we can say, you know, confidently that Google is actually really important. So quite a lot of this book focuses on um, websites and Google search engine. Um, so now that you know, Google is probably one of the largest search engines that you should be working towards um, getting your uh, website or blogs ranking on. The next bit to know is about Google Search Console, which is, yeah, it's called Google Search Console. You can type that in Google Search Console. I'm going to open on a new tab so you can just see what it's like. And Estelle's advice is to sign up. It's, it's completely free. I haven't done this, but I will be doing this at some point. And they've also got like some free training videos if you need more guidance. The reason you want to use Google Search Console is because, and she said, shares this in her book, she's got some tips on how you can speed up your website to get ranked on Google. So instead of waiting for months, potentially you'll just wait days or weeks. So you cut down that time like dramatically. And the other reason to use Google Search Console is to monitor the performance of anything that you change. So if you make tweaks to your website, if you've got a blog or something, and you're trying to see if the keywords that you're using is, is having an impact, you need to use Google Search Console. So that was something really important, I thought. The fourth point that I took from Estelle's book was the importance of link building. In her book, she talks about using a free software, or there are others, I'm sure, Domain Authority Checker, so you can Google that, but the one she recommends is Moz, M-O-Z. So if you look at this, and in, in particular, it's SE, free SEO tools, the Link Explorer. So that's the one she recommends. Um, I haven't got around to using this yet, but I will be checking this out because I want my website personally to rank better on Google, but also to see where it is relative, uh, you know, to other websites in my niche. And finally, Estelle actually goes through some Amazon SEO and she has a very concise step-by-step -step process of how she does keyword research. She looks at keywords on Amazon and then she also uses Publisher Rocket, but she's also got other uh, uh, steps that she shares for her process. So I found this book really interesting, really useful. Again, if you haven't checked out the other part of this collaboration video, feel free to go check that out on Emma Bennett's channel. Check out Estelle's book, SEO for Authors. It's pretty good, highly recommend it. It's on Amazon, of course. I'll, I'll include a link below. If you found this video interesting, useful, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I shall see you next time.